I'd like to start with uh, saying thank you for having me this week. Thanks to the organizers of this conference and thanks to the developers of the Metabon project. Um, I had a really great time up until now considering. And um, yeah. Is there somebody who doesn't have a phone right now at hand? Okay. Nearby. What is nearby? <laughs> nearby, like, like a meter distance of your body. Who doesn't have a phone? <laughs>
try to see what this movement would be if you would do it or if you would only be able to do it for 50%. Mm -hmm. Meaning 50% of standing up, meaning 50% of <laughs> carrying your phone, 50% of crossing the way from the chair on which you are sitting to the table. Perhaps 50% of trying to find a little bit of will to dive into the imaginary 50% of the movement. Once, you can try to perform that movement for 50%. In the meantime, Und 
Die Leute haben das auf Dauer und eine bessere Binde, tragbareren Zustand. Für den ersten Augenblick hat sich das gut angefühlt. Schauen wir mal, wie das weitergeht, was draus bleibt. Purpose, analyze this purpose, 
in two different qualitative uh, intentions. Mm -hmm. I can't, because if I change the quality, I will change the action. It's just absolutely not the same action. So even if it's difficult for scientists to figure, to figure it out, because it's easier to, to make a uh, well, to make it, uh, to quantify things and to to, to put numbers on it, if you got the same thing, it's just it's just not the same thing. Uh, the, the example of the chest and this is my arm is this movement like this, or this uh, very from the bones like this. Yeah. It's just not the same movement to me to be so it's pretty hard to. The thing is that for me, within the exercise, it's not about doing the same movement. It's about experiencing what you normally do or what you used to do in a different way. And perhaps also experiencing this difference. Experiencing the difference between this is not the same as... as this. It's a quantifying part of both. Really okay. Tricky, I think. Would you um, would you give the task in another way? Because you're a dancer, you I think you you're used to doing <laughs> tasks like this. I would, I would second no, given I don't remember, just a uh, any anything any word that would be qualitative but not quantitative. I I I said. Even, even just if I say, uh, make it better, uh, every people will, will have this idea of what is a dull or a not dull moment, but he's going to figure out something because of, of uh, language uh, influences the action. But as soon as it, it's quantifying, uh, it's like, well, which parameter am I quantifying? It's really, really hard to, to do it. Unless you, unless you can, well, just do 50% uh, uh, on the distance or uh, try to do it uh, with 58% of the muscular activity, uh, you try it, yes. But because you, it's 50% of something. Then don't take it as 50, half, half. It's a ratio, it's the same. Thank you. Yeah. I'm curious about the Perhaps details of the project, you know, if there were meetings between scientists and, uh, you know, yeah, we had some beauty in the video, but I'm curious about the details of what of, 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 of you met, you met together. Yeah. <laughs> um, the project started um, last year, 2014, in Freiburg. And they started with dance classes for people with Parkinson's. And next to it, uh, the dancer you saw in the video, Monica, uh, she worked together with another dancer choreographer and started to do research, movement research, uh, with the patients and on their own. Um, and then this year, the project went to another level, so to say. Um, they went into collaboration with Israeli dancers and scientists and last week we had a winter school um, that started the project this year with lots of um, people coming from different uh, fields talking about Parkinson's disease, talking about uh, research with Parkinson's patients, talking about dancing with Parkinson's patients and um, so we were overwhelmed by information about all uh, what is possible and now the project uh, continues with um, in Freiburg as well as in Tel Aviv in Freiburg with weekly dance classes with people with Parkinson's and also dance classes for the scientists um, so they can um, also dive into dance as a way of researching, as a way of doing research, also as a way of uh, getting to know your body, uh, what is possible with your body or not. Why? How does this influence and the uh, scientific research? Or that's one of the questions. Why is it called brain? 
Mai să conferim de Aș vrea să mă Ai că nu mă